in this lecture uh, we'll discuss about the performance parameters of single phase fully controlled converter so that is single phase fully controlled uh, rectifier okay so before deriving uh, these performance parameters we'll uh, derive the fourier analysis for a general function okay i have taken a non sinusoidal periodic function v not of t so in general the fourier series is given by f of t is equal to a not plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity an cos n omega not t plus bn sin n omega not t okay so where a not is given by 1 by 2 pi integral f of t dt an is uh, given by 2 by 2 pi integral f of t cos n omega not t d omega not t and bn is given by 2 by 2 pi integral f of t sin n omega not t d omega not t okay so now uh, one important uh, uh, point to be noted is that if f of t is even function that is f of t is equal to f of minus t then in that case a not will not be equal to 0 a n will not be equal to 0 and b n will be equal to 0 okay so in the second case if f of t is odd function that is f of t is equal to minus f of minus t then a naught and a n will be equal to 0 and b n will not be equal to uh, 0 so that is in our case we have considered the odd function that is f of t is plus v m and f of uh, minus t is minus v m okay so this uh, odd function we have considered and so we have to derive only b n so the formula for finding out bn is equal to 2 by 2 pi integral 0 to 2 pi vm sin n omega naught t dn d omega naught t okay so now uh, here during positive half cycle we have plus vm and during negative half cycle we have minus vm so splitting this integration into two we can write 2 by 2 pi integral 0 to pi vm sin n omega naught t d omega naught t plus integral pi to 2 pi minus vm sin n omega naught t d omega naught t okay so now 2 2 will get cancelled and taking vm outside we can write vm by pi so integrating the first term uh, integral of sin n omega naught t so integral of this term will give you minus cos n omega naught t divided by n over the limit 0 to pi so minus Again, integration of this sign n omega naught t will give you minus cos n omega naught t divided by n. Okay, over the limits pi to 2 pi. So now uh, we'll substitute the limits. Taking this n in the denominator outside, we can write vm by n pi into substituting the upper limit will give you minus cos n pi minus of minus cos 0. Okay, this is the first term minus. Uh, substituting the limits for the second term here we'll write minus cos 2 n pi minus of minus cos n pi so this will become plus so uh, already we know that cos 0 and cos 2 pi are 1 so we can write it as vm by n pi minus cos n pi plus 1 so already we have minus outside so minus of minus will be plus so plus 1 minus cos n pi okay multiplying this minus with this plus uh, will give you minus here okay on further simplification we can write bn is equal to vm by n pi into 2 minus 2 cos n pi or 2 vm by n pi into 1 minus cos n pi okay so if we consider uh, the n value as even numbers that is 2 4 6 etc in that case cos n pi will be equal to 1 and hence bn will be equal to 0 because here if we substitute 1, 1 minus 1 will be 0. So if we consider odd function, odd numbers, n is odd, then in that case cos n pi is equal to minus 1 and hence bn will be equal to 4 vm by n pi because min 1 minus of minus 1 will give you 2, 2 into 2, 4. So 4 vm by n pi will be equal to bn value. So uh, already we know that this is the general Fourier uh, series uh, expression f of t is equal to a naught plus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t. Okay. So as we have discussed earlier for odd function uh, we don't have a naught and a n that is that it will be equal to 0 and only we have to 
substitute the value for b n so therefore the fourier series for this uh, t is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 3 5 because only for odd value of n uh, we will be getting the b n value so n is equal to 1 3 5 etc uh, and so on up to infinity 4 v m by n pi this is b n value into sin n omega naught t so this term so the rest of the terms will be 0 So now, uh, for the same waveform, okay, if we consider that the waveform has been shifted by an angle of phi towards the right hand side, okay. So let us consider that the same v naught of t has shifted by an angle of phi. So in that case, uh, the Fourier series is given by v naught of t is equal to summation of n is equal to 1, 3, uh, 5 and so on up to infinity 4 vm by n pi sin n omega naught t. Okay, this we have already derived now. Since it is shifted by an angle of phi, we can write minus n phi. Okay. So, this is the Fourier series for the shifted waveform shown here. So, now we will go into the actual expression for the fully controlled bridge converter. Okay. In this case, the supply current waveform will be like this. Okay. So, here alpha is the firing angle. So, once the uh, thyristors are triggered, the current will start flowing through the circuit. Okay. So, the magnitude of this supply current will be equal to uh, I naught. So, during a positive half cycle of the supply voltage, the supply current will be positive and during the negative half cycle, it will be negative. Okay. So, now we are going to apply the uh, same uh, expression okay. here to the IS waveform. So, IS of T is equal to summation of N is equal to 1, 3, 5 and so on up to infinity. 4 into I naught. Here Vm is the magnitude of the V naught of T. Similarly, I naught is the magnitude of this IS waveform. So, here we are uh, substituting 4 into I naught divided by n pi sin n omega naught T minus n. So, this waveform is shifted by an angle of alpha. Okay. So, we are replacing this phi with alpha. So, minus n alpha. So, here alpha is nothing but the firing angle or triggering angle. So, this is the required Fourier series for the supply current waveform. So, now we will derive the various performance parameters. So, this, uh, this is what we have derived so far, Fourier series of the supply current. So, now the fundamental component of the supply current. So, fundamental component of the supply current is uh, denoted by IS1. Then, uh, RMS value. Its RMS value is given by... So, 4 I naught by pi. So, here uh, for the fundamental component, we have to substitute n is equal to 1. So, in this uh, expression, we have to substitute n is equal to 1. So, this is the ma maximum value. So, if we need the RMS value, then the maximum value divided by root 2 will give you the RMS value. So, here uh, n is equal to 1 for the fundamental component. Okay, on simplification, uh, we can write this expression as 2 root 2 i naught divided by pi. So, this is the RMS value of the fundamental component of the supply current. So, now RMS value of the supply current. So, RMS value of the supply current is given by under root of i naught square. Okay, IS, uh, IS will be equal to i naught in magnitude. So, this will be equal to i naught. This is the RMS value of the supply current. This is the RMS value of the fundamental component of the supply current. Okay, this we have to find out from the Fourier series expression. So, this we can find out from the uh, general waveform, waveform for the supply current. So, next one is the input displacement factor. So, input displacement factor is defined as a cosine of the input displacement angle. That is, it is also defined as the angle between the fundamental component of the AC supply line and the associated line to neutral voltage. So, in this case, uh, the uh, current waveform is displaced by an angle of alpha. So, we can write the displacement factor as cos alpha. Okay. So, alpha is a firing angle. So, next one is the input distortion factor represented as G. So, this is uh, defined as a ratio between RMS value of the fundamental component of the supply current divided by the RMS value of the supply current. So, both these we have derived already. So, IS1 RMS can be written as 2 root 2 by pi into I naught 
whole divided by i naught so i naught i naught will get cancelled and so we'll write 2 root 2 by pi so this will give you the uh, input distortion factor g so on simplification this will be equal to 0.9 so next we'll derive the total harmonic factor so this total harmonic factor is given by uh, under root of uh, 1 by g square minus 1 so this g is nothing but the distortion factor already we have derived this one so this will be equal to under root of 1 by 0.9 square minus 1 so uh, this will be equal to 0 0.4834 or 48.34 percentage here so next one input power factor so input power factor is given by g into displacement factor g is the uh, distortion factor so distortion factor is 0 0.9 uh, displacement factor is cos alpha so 0 0.9 cos alpha will give you the input power factor so next one input harmonic factor i suffix h so this is given by uh, the ratio between under root of is rms square minus is1 rms square divided by is1 rms so is1 rms is nothing but the rms value of the fundamental component so uh, for is rms uh, we can substitute i0 and then is1 rms is uh, given by 2 root 2 i0 by pi okay so squaring this will give you 8 into i0 square divided by pi square okay so on simplification uh, we can write it as under root of pi square by 8 minus 1 okay so this is a required uh, input harmonic factor so next one voltage ripple factor so voltage ripple factor is defined as a ratio of the net harmonic content of the output voltage to the average output voltage okay so that is written as kv is equal to under root of v naught rm square minus v naught average square whole divided by v naught average so v naught rms already we know v naught rms is nothing but vm by root 2 and v naught average also we have already derived v naught average is nothing but 2 vm by pi cos alpha so on substituting all these values here so we get under root of pi square divided by 8 cos square alpha minus 1 so this is the voltage ripple factor kv so next one is the active power input so active power input is given by vs rms into rms fundamental component of current into displacement factor okay so vs rms is nothing but vm by root 2 okay so similarly fundamental component rms value of the fundamental component of the supply current will be 2 root 2 i naught divided by pi into displacement factor is cos alpha Okay, on further simplification we can write it as 2 vm by pi into i naught cos alpha so this is the active power input similarly reactive uh, input power is given by vs rms into is1 rms into sin alpha so that will give you 2 vm by pi into i naught sin alpha